So what is a virtual environment in Python? In the real life, when we have to do cooking, we like to have a room called kitchen where we have a stove, a pan, clothes for washing hands and a lighter. Similarly, when we want to take a shower, we need a room called washroom where we may have towel and shampoo. Similarly, when we want to sleep, we want a room which has a bed and a blanket. We are keeping three different rooms so that the items don't get mixed with each other. Similarly, when we are creating projects in Python, we don't want different versions of libraries to interact and break the code. So that's why we create virtual environments where all the libraries are compatible with each other. But to maintain these rooms or virtual environments and their tools or the libraries, we need to understand VNV, Conda and PIP. VNV and Conda are environment creators, whereas Conda and PIP, they are package managers. So in the example of a washroom, the environment creator creates the washroom, whereas the package manager puts the towel and shampoo inside the washroom. And as you might have noticed, Conda can perform as an environment creator and as a package manager. So how do we get these tools working on our computer? So to get Conda on your computer, we have two options. We can install either Anaconda or Miniconda. Both these tools contain Conda and some other libraries. So you can install any of them and you will get Conda working on your computer. And if you have Python installed on your computer, VNV and PIP come pre-built in Python. So your computer can use them directly. So now we know that to create a virtual environment, we need an environment creator and a package manager. So what are the options that we have? So we have these many options to use. However, Conda as an environment creator and PIP as a package manager is used very often because it has certain advantages. You might think why not use Conda for both environment creator and package manager. However, Conda has certain limitations as a package manager. Hence, PIP is preferred as a package manager. So let us see how we can create three virtual environments named kitchen, washroom and bedroom. We will use Conda which we can get from Anaconda or Miniconda as we discussed. So I will fire up my Miniconda prompt and, and Miniconda prompt comes with a base virtual environment and that is why we see the word base at the starting. Now I will create environments in a test folder on the desktop. So I will change the directory to this test folder and then I will type Conda create name whose name is kitchen and then press enter. It will ask you yes or no to proceed. You will write yes and then press enter and the kitchen environment has been created. Now similarly, we will create the washroom environment. So we'll write Conda create dash dash name, which is the washroom and then press enter. Then we repeat the same process for a virtual environment named bedroom. Now we can check which all virtual environments has been created by Conda and we can do that by typing conda env list. So as you can see, we have four virtual environments, first being the base and the other three that we created just now, that is bedroom, kitchen and washroom. And the star in front of base means that this is the active environment that we are in presently. So as you can see, it's very easy to create an environment. Now, if we want to move from our base environment to another environment, we just write conda activate and then the name of the environment. So now the word base has changed to kitchen because the environment has changed. To close this environment, we'll write conda deactivate and then the conda will return to its base environment. Now suppose we want to enter the bedroom environment and write some code over there. So we activate the bedroom environment and then write Jupyter Notebook. But this gives an error because in the bedroom environment, there is nothing known as Jupyter which is installed. So now we need to install packages. And just like we discussed, we have options of using either Conda or PIP as a package manager. So let's see how we can install using Conda. So we'll type Conda install dash C space Conda Forge. Conda Forge is the repository and space notebook. So notebook for Jupyter Notebook. And then we press enter. This process will run for a few minutes and download all the files. And after that, the Jupyter library will be installed in this environment. So everything is done. We again type Jupyter Notebook inside the bedroom environment and wait for the execution. And now we can see that Jupyter Notebook has been launched without any error. So that means that Jupyter Notebook has been installed in the bedroom environment. Now we close this and press Ctrl C which stops the Jupyter Notebook. Now let us see whether installing Jupyter Notebook in the bedroom environment gives us a Jupyter Notebook in the other environment. So we close this environment using Conda deactivate 
and then activate the kitchen environment and run Jupyter Notebook. So as we can see, there is no Jupyter Notebook in the kitchen environment because we did not install it. So over here, we'll use the other package manager that is PIP or PIP and then we'll type pip install Jupyter and then again it will download all the packages be sure to be connected to the internet and after a few minutes the Jupyter notebook will be installed in the kitchen environment also now if we again type Jupyter notebook we see that the notebook is launched so I hope this answered a few questions about virtual environments if you have any doubts please post them in the comments below